Hey guys, welcome back to my hair channel. So I've only been wearing this wig for about two hours and the tangles are real. Like here, it doesn't stay uniformed very well. And I don't know if that's because I attempted to color it or not, but I wanted to show you guys how you go about um, making your wig bigger if you um, construct the cap too small. So um, I'm gonna be using um, the Kalahi wig to sample that so you can see how that works and how you can make it, you know, stretch out and make it bigger. All right, so this is the Kalahi wig. Now, this is a three week update. I Now you gotta remember, before I started wearing the um, Outre Brazilian Boutique one, the purple pack, I was wearing this one for three weeks. So after a three week mark, this is what um, the hair uh, looked like as far as like um, the curls, it's time to wash it. But also this wig cap is way too small. Like comfortably, it's not even fitting at all. It only fits in the back. And this is how much space I actually need to, to bring the wig up. So we're gonna have to fix that. So the way we do that, it's inside of the wig. You have to make sure for one, you're, hmm, you need to start wearing this again. But you need to make sure you're not cutting where you put your wefts or your glue or however you put this uh, constructed your cap. So you basically have to go in inside of the wig, for instance. Um, with curly hair, I, I more so choose to do it this way. A lot of people do it inside. I do it on the outside because I don't want to cut the hair. So you take your scissors and you look for the clean spots. And you have to be careful with this because um, if your wefts are not secure, it will fall apart. So I just kind of poke a hole where there's an empty space in the cap. And then I cut it off. So I... I made a hole here and I kind of just do that wherever I find the empty spot. So I'm just going to do that the same here. Again, I look at it from this way because I don't want to cut the hair. So I just find gaps in the cap. Now, as you cut a few gaps in the cap, I would say try not to be so close to like the frontal or your closure. You can, you can make it loose but um you can make holes near it but just try not to do it too much near the closure because then you'll start to see those gaps near the closure so yeah i'm just i'm just poking it around a little bit of everywhere so like i'm kind of in the same spots like i am towards the middle of the cap right now and i have to uh, eventually move to the sides I would say as you do a few check to see how it fits before you continue you don't want it to get too loose because then it'll be too big and then you'll have to start figuring out how to make it smaller again um, if it's a little bit better it wasn't so complicated to pull it up this time but it's still sliding back so I still need a good uh, inch or so on this one so I take it off again and since it's a frontal <laughs> I can't do the very front and it takes it, it shouldn't take that long it may take a good 15 minutes to get it right if it's really loose I mean not loose but if it's really tight if it's really tight like mine it might take you a good 15 minutes to get this done. I'm actually gonna bring this hair back to life too so we can kind of just see um, what this Kalahi wig does. Um, so I put about four more in. Here it is, again, after three weeks wear, no washing or anything, this is the three week mark. So the curls are still obviously there, it just, they kind of fall a little bit, so you'll just need to do the, the daily washing, get all the gunk out of it, and then it'll be brand new and big and full like it should be. Ah. 
I have to be very careful because this is a frontal, so it can easily rip if I pull it too tight. You can kind of see how the curls look compared to my other video. Like they definitely fell there. You know, they're gunky. They need to get fixed. So I did this side of the cap a little bit. Um, you'll start to see the holes in the cap as you keep going. And I mean, you can you can work from the inside if you want, but again, you just gotta be careful if you choose to do it this way because you can cut that hair off if you're working from the inside versus the outside. So, not too complicated. I'll come back when this is complete and show you the new fit of this wig. <laughs> I'm just gonna really quickly show you guys what this looks like on if you were to just wear it out wet. I'm gonna let mine air dry over the towel overnight. Um, like I'm gonna scrunch it up on the towel kind of like that and just let it sit because I want the curls to kind of be a lot tighter um, the way the uh, frontal is. So if you were to wear this hair just straight out wet like this, it will be on the order. Of where is this cabinet? Whoa. Um, yeah, I got lost. Hold on. Oh. Hair is most fragile when it's wet, so be careful, guys. I feel like I don't even know where the part is. Is this it? Okay, I messed this thing up, but um, yeah. It looks like this, wet, 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 wet. I know this song, okay, I'm sorry. Y'all don't like it, I'm sorry. I like Chris Brown. Okay, so this is the wet look. Let it air dry though, like, well, I'm letting mine air dry, but this is what it looks like. And so I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and let this baby dry and see if it sprouts the way it did when I first made the wig to start. Oh, whoa, whoa. These curls got real tight, but it fits so much better than it did before. I would just kinda pull them out some. I don't like them too drawn up like that, but um it pretty much goes right back to the way it should be curly you know so at least you know that so the bundles are more uniformed than the frontal so that's kind of what it looks like and yeah after a wash pretty much goes right back I don't see any issues with it. Um, I don't see any problems. So that's that's the kawaii wig. Um, so yeah, the, the curls go right back to the way they should. And that's it for the three week update, you guys. If you keep this hair longer than three weeks, it's obviously gonna last. So this is that three week update with two washes. It smells so good, it smells so good. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope I taught you a great trick. It does what it should put it like that so i'll see you guys in my next video and until then good night